All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, our topic about Abdul, who is supposedly trying to refute me. And I find it very funny and very comedy and how, it, in how much he, uh, those people are intimidated. Uh, I don't speak Indonesian, so I do not know really what he said, but they translated to me what this person said. If you remember, we made the video before, and uh, I used the title this person used in his uh, video. And not only we got him busted, we fried his prophet. And the potato, he said in his video, he will not play my video because Christians, they flag his video for copyright. First of all, this is a big fat lie. And let me let me show everybody that you are a coward and potato. This is my voice. I allow you not only to play the video, to post this video in your channel. I am a Christian prince. I am allowing you to load the video as it is in your channel. And nobody, if you took contact to contact you, you send them here. We go. I'm, this is my voice. So you are a coward and you are ashamed and you do not know what to, how to answer what we said there. So how you try to avoid answering saying, I'm not going to play for you. I am the one who don't post Muslim videos because you Muslim, you flag me. And this is why when I want to play a Muslim video, I have to go to other channel in order to do it. I have many backup channels just for that purpose. So you are a coward and you are intimidated and you are ashamed of your prophet and you have no answer. And I'm giving you license to load the from, uh, for, uh, through Skype. He called me shallow brain. My friend, uh, let us say I am a shallow brain. But you see, if a person he have a shallow brain, obviously he is coming from a shallow maker maybe. Isn't it Allah who made me? Isn't it in Islam, everything human being he do, it is a destiny from Allah. So let what happen. Your shallow God, he made me sh say shallow words and you are blaming me for my shallow talk. Let me show you how stupid what you just said. If we go in the hadith, we will find the following. You see, I answer you from Islam, not like, you know, potato, tomato, you do. Look at this. Adam, he committed sin. Let us find this hadith first. When Adam, he made his sin, was Adam making a shallow decision? For sure, yes, he's making a sin, brother. But in case you do not know, you idiot, the shallow is not Adam, the shallow is Allah. Because as you see in the hadith, which is Sahih al-Bukhari, which is very accurate, which is very authentic, that Adam was committing sin because Allah, he forced him to commit sin. He had no choice. According to your prophet, That Adam and Moses, they have an argument, debate. Moses, obviously, he believed in the Christian belief, which is proven Islam to be false because Muslim, they claim that Moses was a Muslim. But as you see, Moses believed in the original sin, believed that we are out of heaven because of Adam. And this is what the whole debate is about. And then Adam refuted Moses by saying to him, you idiot, are you blaming me for a sin which Allah decreed for me to do? To do, I must do. By Allah. You see the story? So when Adam committed sin, even the sin he did, it was, it was not his decision. It was the, the uh, when Adam he say things, when Adam he do things, when uh, anything Adam he did, it was Allah decree. And that will go for me. So if I say shallow words, that's mean Allah, he is the one, the shallow. This is your religion. Moses is blaming Adam for the sin he did. Adam refuted Moses, and you see here your prophet taking side with Adam, saying Adam was the winner. And he said to him, are you blaming me for something, for a sin, which I should do? 
I should do. Do you blame me for an action which Allah he wrote for me 40 years before my creation? And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. So the stupid religion of Islam, whatever they say because their prophet and their God is stupid, they are spanking their God with no mercy. So if I speak shallow, Allah he wrote that in his book and he is the one is talking. This is not my words. This is what Islam is saying. This is what your Quran is saying. This is what the Hadith is saying. The act of Adam is not the act of Adam. It is the act of Allah. Even your prophet, he says, when a human being, he committed adultery, even that is not his choice. It is Allah decree and you do it because Allah, he is the one doing it. What kind of religion this religion is? So my friend, you are the one who is shallow because you believe that there is a God who will give you endless penis. You believe that there is a God who will give you women with big boobs. You believe that Allah will give you a woman, she have one mile ass. And you are talking about shallow. Verily Allah has fixed very portion of adultery for which a man will indulge, which means you have to do. And he of necessity must commit, it's not a choice. Adultery in Islam is not a choice. Allah, he wrote for you, the women you will sleep with her. How many of them? Actually, there is, there, there is a there is a sheikh live on TV. A woman, she asked him, she said, I am over 30. I'm afraid I'm not going to get married. He said to her, my daughter, don't worry. The prophet said, this is his words, that it is written in every woman's vagina the names of the men that will sleep with her. It is written by Allah. And you are talking about shallow. So if a woman, she is a prostitute, she has a yellow pages over her vagina. Muhammad, Ahmad, Ali, uh, Hussein. All the names are there. All the men who step with her are there. And you are talking about shallow. Secondly, he said, and I will show you some of the translation without showing the person uh, name who translated. Point number one, make the surah like the Quran. This guy, he said to me, make a surah like the Quran. Okay, if I make a surah like the Quran, are you go who is going to be the judge? You? For sure you will not accept. I mean, look how silly, how stupid they are. The guy, even he doesn't speak Arabic. He is not, he's an Indonesian. By the way, he said he will, he, he accept to, to debate me in Arabic, but he want to do it face to face. Or just a stupid an idiot. As long as you are debating me right now, as you claim in YouTube. So what face to face mean? Aren't you the one is talking about me in my back? What about being a brave and speak about me in, in front of me in YouTube live on air, but you are a coward, you are a potato, you don't dare. Secondly, if I make now a, 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 a Quran, whatever I say, you will not accept. You say, this is bad, this is horrible. <laughs> I can make Quran easy, better than the Quran. إن أنزلنا الفول على أستاذ جاكرت المصطول فقال ما هذا بجيد ولا مقبول وحق محمد رب رب كل أهبل مهبول. Do you understand anything? Here we go. This is Quran. وإن أنزلنا السكر وما أدراك ما السكر طعمه أحلى من العنبر يأكله محمد رسول الحريم ويتمختر قرآنه سخيف وعقله خفيف وسمي بالأبتر وما أدراك ما الأبتر. I just made it. Can you make better than that? However, I have a surprise for you. This is a Quran made by us, Christians. And we challenge Muhammadan to make something like it. This Quran is saying that Jesus is God and Muhammad is possessed by the devil. And I will play it for you. And you tell me, if you dare, for sure you will not accept, you will say, this is bad, man, this is bad, disgusting, this is... Okay, let us see. Let us see, my friend. We made this Quran many years ago, it's very easy. You Muslims are really stupid. Actually, there is, there is, a, there is a sheikh, his name is al Uraifi. 
he was in France and he said they got a French person in the stage you can you can let's search for the name al Huraifi embarrassment the chapter of at tufaha which means the apple so what happened actually let me see if I can't find you without playing it you can search for the name give me a second so what happened this guy the sheikh he said okay anyone anyone come to the stage and there is some foreigners French you know French person so he came to the stage and he said I'm going to make I'm going to recite for you two things one is real Quran and one is fake Quran and I guarantee you your heart will lead you to the true Quran so Sheikh al Urayfi, who is very famous make a verse which is fake Quran and recite it like the Quran and he recited the verse the same as I mean from real Quran and then he asked the guy which one is better hmm? which which one is better and here we go this is this is the link I'm going actually I'm going to open it hold on give me a second and then they asked the French guy which one is better the French guy he chose the apple verses he said did my heart go for that one but this is the fake one embarrassment so this is your shake and he made the sound exactly like the sound actually you know what I will play it <laughs> Est-ce que tu comprends les langues étrangères telles que l'arabe, le perse ou autre Non. Non, non. Il est en train de demander, est-ce qu'il comprend l'arabe ou 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 c'est-à-dire que si là maintenant le shir parle avec toi en ourdou, en perse ou en arabe, tu ne peux pas faire la différence. Là, il fait l'autre. Il a dit non, il ne peut pas faire la différence entre eux. Il a dit qu'il a donné deux mots, et qu'il a essayé de trouver la différence entre eux. Il a dit qu'il a donné deux sentences, et je veux que tu aies découvert la différence entre eux. Là, il va euh, prononcer deux phrases, et il veut que tu vois, est-ce qu'il y a, ou plutôt tu lui fais ressentir ce que, ce que ces phrases ont fait sur toi. D'accord Donc tu vas, faire, tu vas essayer de lui dire euh, quelle est la différence entre ces deux phrases. Que tu ne comprends bien sûr absolument pas. So now the Sheikh, he is going to make fake Quran and he will recite real Quran. And let us see which one the, 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 uh, the French boy, his heart will beat for. ذكر رحمة ربك عبده زكريا إذ نادى ربه نداء خفيا قال رب إني وهن العظم مني واشتعل الرأس شيبا ولم أكن بدعائك رب شقيا وإني خفت الموالي من ورائي وكانت امرأتي عاقرا فهب لي من لدنك وليا يرثني ويرث من آل يعقوب وجعله رب رضيا هذه الجملة الأولى قل له سيسي دونك لبرمير فراز This is the first one he said to him, this is, uh, I mean, look how stupid the Sheikh, he said, this is the first sentence, this is a sentence, this is the chapter. Suppose this is a sentence. He don't even know, I mean, this is a Sheikh, he don't know he, how to speak Arabic, saying that this is a sentence, this is a sentence, all of those are sentence. And now he will say to you the second sentence, and you see the difference between them, which one is better? نحن اجتمعنا في هذا المكان ثم جلسنا في هذا الزمان ثم التقينا معك وجلسنا معك وأنسنا لما لقيناك ثم سوف بعد ذلك نفارقك لكننا سوف ندعو كثيرا لك طيب هذه الجملة الثانية This is the second sentence Did you hear it? It sounds like Quran, but it's not. It's not. So now they will ask him, what do you think? Which one is better? 
Did you feel any difference between the two speeches? Une différence entre les deux phrases. Est-ce qu'il y en a une parmi les deux qui a peut-être touché ton cœur? La deuxième. La deuxième. Al Jumla Thani. He liked the second one. <laughs> He liked the fake Quran, not the real Quran. Tartaha <laughs> ilayha. Pourquoi? Pour la deuxième. <laughs> and all the Muslims are dying laughing. He liked the fake Quran more. So supposedly, when the, the lecturer is that when you hear Quran, your heart, your heart will speak to you. Your heart will make you feel it. This is what the topic is. And then he made another one. Say, okay, look, okay, I will do it again. So now he will do another verse, another, another, he will recite a real verse and a fake verse. And then the same thing happened, he liked the fake one. He didn't understand the first or the second, right? He said, yeah. But he liked the second one, which is the fake. قل إنكم لا تكفرون بالذي خلق الأرض في يومين وتجعلون له أندادا ذلك رب العالمين وجعل فيها رواسي من فوقها وبارك فيها وقدر فيها أقواتها في أربعة أيام سواء للسائلين. So this is the first sentence, huh? It is the Quran. It's a real Quran. Hey, هل شعر أنها تختلف؟ Est-ce que là, tu as senti une différence avec ce que tu as entendu auparavant? Avec non. Did you feel it's different? He said no. <laughs> Nothing is working with this guy. Tu as ressenti quelque chose particulier? No. Le. <laughs> now he started explaining like maybe sometimes it works sometimes it's a drug it was potato now let us show you our quran which is made by us christians and how nobody can make quran like us which saying that jesus is god and muhammad is a satanic devil messenger Listen carefully. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Be cool. 
Wonderful. Translation. An Arabic Christian TV station. The person go in it, his name is Father Zakaria. He got every Muslim busted. He made the sheikhs eat the sleeves of their arms because they have no answer. He showed them that the Messiah is the Lord and there is no salvation but by Him. He exposed what is called a nasikhu wal mansukh, which means the abrogation verses. He entered every house through the satellite. 
and he proved everything by the proof and the reference with a question about faith that Muhammad is nothing but a possessed man by the devil his Lord he called him even though he is in Australia and he said to him oh Zechariah go go and serve your Lord and I'm going to give you the tongue to speak the word to say and by the sword of the word you are going to defeat the devil and you will smash him. O oh, Zechariah, give the good news to the Muslims with the light of the Messiah, with the cross of the Messiah, with the wound of the Messiah. He is the only one who sacrificed himself for us. He is our Savior. And you are saying to me, make your own like this. Secondly, potato, why you ignore all the things I said to you in the video when we showed you that Omar made Quran? <clears throat> Did Omar make Quran? Yeah. This is Sahih Bukhari. And as you see, all the verses in the Quran, which uh, Omar, he said first, they came as I had said. Omar is the one who made you women wear hijab, not Allah, and not Muhammad. You Muslims are following Omar, not following Allah, not following Muhammad. As you see, he is the one who said women, they should cover themselves. And Allah, he sent the verses, read carefully, this is not my words. So the verses came the same as I had said. And you are saying to me, can you make Quran? Allah himself is copying the Quran of Omar. We showed you that Muhammad, he copied Quran from Abdullah ibn Sarah. Why you will not show the Muslims in your channel? Why you will not my, play my video so everybody will see you coward? Because you're ashamed. And the funny, he said, I'm not going to fail to Christian Prince trap. He knew it's a trap. Yes, it's a trap. It is a trap. You are already in the trap, you idiot. You lied as much as you can, saying that you can debate me, but yet you will never call me. Claiming that you speak Arabic, but you will never call me to speak to me in Arabic. Claiming that you have answer for me, but I didn't see an answer. How Allah he take verses from Omar, if nobody can make Quran. How Muhammad he take verses from Abdullah ibn Sarah, who left Islam after he noticed that Muhammad is stealing his own sentences and making them Quran. Let me see if I can open uh, Islamic website <clears throat> so we can read together. You see, they try to avoid everything I said there. You have you don't want to talk about it. Why? What happened? Because he is ashamed. He's a potato. Is what? He's a potato. As simple as that. How he can explain this disaster? How he can say he, how he can explain that Allah taking Quran from Abdullah ibn Sarah, who he left Islam. What kind of a prophet he steal from his inscribed sentences and he put it in the Quran? Read carefully. This is a chapter 23, verse number 14. And this is the official government website of the kingdom of Jordan. And the king of Jordan, he claimed that he is descendant from Muhammad himself. And this is explained why he is very much corrupt like his father and his family. You will see here that when Muhammad was reciting Let us see uh, eh. uh, This is Sbab uh, Nazul Alright, hold on mm. Where is the story of Abdullah in English? It's gone 
The story of Abdullah in English is gone. They took it off. What happened? But where is the story of Abdullah? I don't see it. Anyone see Abdullah? Here they are just saying that uh, Umar al-Khattab, he said, my Lord agreed with those of my Lord, uh, my, ag my agreed with those sentences. Uh, Allah agreed with, Muhammad, with Umar. I said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, why you don't pray behind the maqam? Allah, he took it, he put it there. I say, why you don't cover yourself? Allah took it, put it there. But where is the story of Abdullah ibn Sarah? Give me a second. I mean, you, see, you take it off from the Arabic. They took it off from the Arabic. Oh, but no problem. No problem. Let us see. Uh, um. Yeah, you see, I have the text in the front of me in Arabic, but it's not in English. They took it off. Look, this is the Arabic sentence. It says, you know what? Why I want to show you what it says. Just me, let me use Google Translation in the front of your eyes so you can see the fraud. In English, they took it off, the story. You believe it? They took it off? I will use Google Translation. This is the book of Asbab al Nuzul, the same book. This is the same book, but in Arabic, the original one. And this is the Islamic library. This is not a Christian website. Islamweb.net. Do you see it? I am going to hit Google Translation and you will read with your own eyes the fraud and how the Muslims try always to hide disasters in their books in English. That's why you cannot learn Islam if you only speak English. Because there is no dignity, there is no honesty. Click translation. Read carefully. This is Google translation, which is not really accurate, but better than nothing. This verse was revealed in Abdullah ibn Sarah. You see, this is the first sentence. So in the in the English one, it should say the same. Does it say that? Let us see. No. It doesn't say that. Maybe, maybe we can find that in chapter 93 because the same story appeared again in 93. Muhammad, he copied it twice. Let us go to chapter number 93. Maybe there we will find it in English. I prefer if we can find it their own translation always. Uh, sorry, chapter uh, uh, Al-An'am, verse num number 93. Here we go. Let us see if here is going to appear. Yeah, now the website stopped opening. The king of Jordan, he used it. I think he used a, a, a hosting for free, you know. Here we go. Uh, what is that? Okay, Allah did not reveal anything. This is Malik ibn Abu Sufyan, blah, 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 blah. okay, and then, okay, and scripture, Musaylam, uh, and look, read carefully here. I will reveal the like of that which Allah has revealed. I will say the like of what Muhammad B B U H saying. This is Abdullah ibn Sarah. What happened with Abdullah? Let us see. But he didn't say. You see, you see how everything changed. Where, where is the story? It's gone. Where in the story it says, if this is was given to Muhammad, well, as it was given to to me before him, it's gone. If we go in the English, look at this. 
This is the English translation, which is done by Google, not by me. And those who they are texting me in Skype, I mean, don't be stupid for now. If you are a Muslim, you have the courage. Let me finish. It was revealed about Abdullah ibn Sarah. He had spoken about Islam, Messenger of Allah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, called him to write something for him. So when the verses, the believer came, and this is about how Allah he created, etc. And he said, then we created another creation. Abdullah wondered. Abdullah, like, he liked it. Oh, nice. Ah. So he said, blessed be Allah. Who said that? Abdullah. Abdullah, he said, blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. And then the messenger of Allah, he says, uh, it was revealed to me like the same as you. <laughs> he said to him, this is how it revealed to me. But the guy is the one who said that. So let me make it simple. I am a Christian prince. I have somebody. He is typing in the computer for me. And I say the sentence. I'm making a book. Claiming that this book is coming to me from God. And then I say, okay, uh, 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 God, he made the, the sperm into a congealed blood, which is very stupid. And then the congealed blood became a, a piece of meat, which is very stupid. And then we create from that another creation, which is very stupid. The one, my secretary, he was like, he liked it, he loved it. So he said, blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. And then I said to him, okay, write it there. Uh, he will say, write what? He said, uh, write it there. Uh, blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. The man, he said, but this is what I said. Muhammad said to him, this is how it revealed to me. And you are telling me, make Quran, you idiot. Potato. And you will not my play my video because you claim that Christians, they will flag you. What a big fat liar. I give you a license to play all this video and not only to play it, to post it as it is in your channel. And you will never do so because you are a potato coward. And then he said he, he will make fake Quran and he said well, even his fake Quran is better than the Bible. Why? Why is that? He said oh, in, the, in the Bible, look what the Bible says, brother. Look what the Bible what the Bible says shall the Lord shave with rosar that is higher I mean if do you even understand what it says there for sure you do not know you do not understand your Quran and then you are saying you are making a better verse from this what is the first of all you idiot when we say the Bible verse we are not talking about poetry secondly I challenge you to explain to your followers what this verse is about and then everybody will laugh at you because obviously you are a certified donkey you do not know what you're talking about what is bad about it what is what is about this this is a prophecy read the interpretation a stupid a stupid Abdul will say to you the God of the Christian will shave his what it says that stupidity and then he said there is other verse in the Bible. It says that Christian, they will eat their dunk. They will take their dunk. You know what? The only dunk I see is the dunk coming from your mouth. You are a stupid officially because you Muslim, you practice that. This is a curse. God saying to them, because you are not good, because you are disobedient, because etc. You will suffer to the point you will use the dunk of the animals. So you cook in it. And guess what? The biggest Islamic country in the world, use that, you idiot. Bangladesh. Number one country in the world used dunk as a fuel is Bangladesh. They don't eat the dunk. They cook in it, you idiot liar. And the verse there is so clear. However, as long as this is a verse which is bad for you, which one is better? Cooking over the dunk, which is just fire. I mean, there's no dunk anymore. It's fire, blazing fire. Or drinking the dunk. Because camel urine is a dunk. 
So you are complaining about the verse in the Bible speaking that those Jews, they will suffer to the point they are going to use even dunk to cook in it. When you're a prophet, is teaching you to drink camel urine. This is your Islamic country. It's storing tens of thousands of people, drying it to use it as a fuel. Stupidity is amazing. And when a Muslim, he says, can you make Quran like this? And by the way, I can show you tons of fatwas saying yes you can use the dunk as a fuel and the prophet uh, he did not you know he said it clearly uh, that you know uh, we, we can show you tons of fatwas about that so those are answers coming from an ignorant who do not know his religion because what you are making fun of it is you who practice it not us it is you who drink urine. And then he said, can you make Quran better than this? Okay, you will let you know what? No, I cannot. Have you ever heard of a Quran saying, a God saying, I will give you women with big boobs? I mean, nobody can do that. I cannot do that. This is amazing Quran. This is an example. And if you, if you read with me carefully the Quran, you will see how stupid this book. Do you see anything, any connection between the verse before it and the verse after it? No, there is no connection. What is the connection? <laughs> I'm talking about heaven, talking that you are going to have, suddenly he jumped to speak about you have a garden full of a grape not coconut and then next to the grave there is women with big boobs and then next to the women a full cup what is this and you are saying to me nobody can make Quran like Quran I agree so imagine I am in the stage and I am saying to people guys if you come to my yard uh, first you will not find their hypocrite and then you will find the grape tree and next to the grape tree there is big boobs he didn't even say women he said big boobs I mean do you see the connection do you see the respect of a human being what kind of God he promised you big boob next to let me okay I will use my art to make you enjoy this uh, verses to show you how amazing the Quran is and by the way this is not limit I change any Muslim actually to choose for me any verse in the Quran and you will see how stupid it is. So this is a grape tree, brother. This is a grape tree. Okay, grape tree and there is a grape coming, grape coming, grape coming, grape coming. Okay, this is a grape tree, brother. There's a grape coming all over the grape. And here next to it, brother, there's big boobs. brother he didn't even say women you see in the translation they say women but the fact it doesn't say women in the Quran it says and you are saying to me this is a Quran this is God talking so what I got from this verse now there's a grape tree and there's next to it big boobs is the nipples big too or small? I'm afraid of big nipples. How many nipples there? Two or three or four? Maybe they have seven. And you are saying to us, can you make wrong like this? No, we cannot. Or what about this verse? Hold on. I just remember one.
Say, I seek refuge in the Lord of the daybreak. What does that mean? You seek only refuge by the Lord, only in the daybreak. What about the afternoon, noon, night? What is that? Daybreak. The danger time is daybreak, brother. From the evil which he created, Allah, he created evil, and you are seeking Allah to protect you from his evil. From the evil of the darkness, when it is intense, oh, hold on, it doesn't say, but by the way, this is here about the penis of Muhammad. And from the evil of a penis, when it does stand, this is not about anything of this. And by the way, I challenge you to refute me in this point, brother. I challenge you to go live and say, I challenge the Christian prince to prove his point. Oh, you can do it like this. And by the way, he said in his video that the Christian prince, he like he, he make the voice of his opponent and even sometimes female voice. My friend, it's a comedy. I have a skills you don't have. Can Allah do that? Christian prince, he said that the verse is about the penis of the prophet. I tried him to prove it. Now, I want you to challenge me to prove it. I'm going to wait for you to say, Christian Prince, you're a liar. It doesn't say that, CP. Who want to say that? Who is the Muslim want to say to me, it doesn't say that, CP? Not a single of you there, because you know I am saying the truth. Now, let's continue. And from the evil of the mingling witchcraft, it says in Arabic, وَمِن شَرِّ النَّفَّاثَاتِ فِي الْعُقَدِ Those who blow in the knot, Blow on the knot, may Allah blow on you. How somebody can control you by blowing? I mean, this is who can make Quran like this, brother? Nobody. You have a God, He believed that somebody can blow in the knot. You see, the translation is false. It doesn't say that, CP. It says the one who blow in the knot. It, what, what this translation is about? It's a strange trans. Just to show you how a translator, just to change the translation. Look, look, look how translation changed. All the other translation, nobody says, and the witch, when they blow in the knot. This is a superstition, stupid religion. Can you make Quran like this? I cannot. People will die laughing at me. I will open a clinic. It's called a Dr. Christian Prince Blow Knot. This is Dr. Voodoo. Voodoo is a teaching and a practice for those who they are ignorant and educated. And it's not true. Your God is Dr. Voodoo. And you are saying to me, can you make Quran like this? Blow in the knot? Okay, I want you to blow knot for me. If this is how it is, people can control each other by blowing, by control uh, Trump, make him a Muslim tomorrow, blowing his knot. What a stupid cult. And the funny, the Muslim himself, they believe that Muhammad himself was controlled by the knot. If you remember, there's a Muslim, he called me and he said that the Prophet was controlled by 12 knots and it took Allah 12, 12 months to open those knots, which means one month for every knot. Muhammad was under black magic. What is this? Can you make Quran like this? And when the Prophet was controlled by the by, by the by the by the knots, uh, even that magic supposedly made him imagining himself doing things. Okay, hold on. How we can trust this man to be a prophet now? Because he might imagine he saw an angel. How many verses Muhammad he gave when he was under that situation? He is imagining things. Even his sex was fake. As you see, this is all Sahih al-Bukhari. The Prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had boom, boom. But the fact he was not doing poop, boom to his wife, it was the, dis the disposal machine. Muhammad, he go in the kitchen. He put his private part in the sink and he turned the machine in the disposal machine. Zzzz. And Muhammad, he think he's having sex with his wives. And then he go to Aisha and say, Aisha, how do you like it tonight? Huh? Say, like what? Uh, did you like it uh, the way I did it today? Uh, did what? Uh, come on, you know. Hello. <clears throat> uh, you, today, you, you did not touch me. Oh, okay. 
Uh, okay, maybe it was Hafsa. Let us go to Hafsa. Hafsa, how you like it today? <clears throat> you know, like we have it very tough, huh? Hmm? Uh, uh, what? You, you did not touch me. What are you talking about? Oh, maybe this is a, a Maimuna. Let us go to Maimuna. Oh, maybe this is Jessica. Oh, maybe this is Monica. Oh, maybe this is Rebecca. And then after all the women he asked, none of them was touched. Muhammad was having sex with what? So this guy is going to make a book of God for me, who even his sex is fake. Is it obvious that this man, he have a mental illness? And we do not need to be genius to prove that mental illness of Muhammad, because simply, in two seconds you can't find out. A man, he take a shower with water have dead dogs. Women, women blood from period. And garbage. What is his situation? You tell me. A claiming, by the way, this is the this is the this is the best the best way to fight corona now. If we take and follow the advice of Prophet Muhammad. It was said, shall we use the water of Bida'a well which perform ablution while it's a well which menstruation rags, flesh, flesh of dogs, and garbage dumped in it? The Prophet said, huh, the water is always pure, nothing make it impure, brother. That's deep, man. That's deep. Your Prophet is full of it. Garbage is thrown in it. And how big this thing is, is not even in the size of a, a, a two meter and a half. It is a, it, it is a, a garbage water. It is a, it's a water coming from the, from the sewage, from people, from the houses. You know, go to the lowest spot, lowest spot in the in the town, and this is where they throw their garbage because nobody. This is not a water to drink. This is not read well. This is a dry well, and then the water in it is coming from outside, dirty water, and the stupid Muhammad is showering there. And here you see in this hadith the measurement of this water. It is small. It's a smaller than a jacuzzi. So imagine you have a jacuzzi and you have dead dogs, dead dogs, not dogs, dead dogs. And the funny Muhammad, he said that dogs are nudges. So how dead are, if, if, a, if a dog, he lick your dish, you have to wash it seven times, Muhammad said. So how if a dog, he lick your, your dish, you have to wash it seven times, but yet Muhammad taking a shower, swimming, we cannot say swimming, it's very small, sitting in a water, full of dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage i passed by a prophet of allah when he was performing wudu in the well of wada and i said are you performing wudu here you idiot when in, there is garbage in it do you see it the guy was wondering what what's wrong with this man you see the arab they will not do that otherwise they will not be asking him why you are doing this if this is something normal nobody will ask correct but Muhammad obviously is doing things abnormal, stupid things. It's a clear proof that Muhammad had mental illness. Are you, are you performing, washing in a water, have garbage thrown in it? And actually in Arabic it says, anatin, which means the stinky, it's a stinky. People ask, Master of Allah, can we perform ablution from the will of Bidaha, which is a well went into menstruation clothes, dead dogs, and stinking things thrown in it? He replied, Water is pure, and nothing make it impure. Is the hadith is weak? It is sahih. Because we know the game, eh, brother. This is a weak hadith, eh, brother. Anything they don't like, they make it uh, weak. And by the way, in a few years from now, they will change this hadith, they will make it weak. Just wait. After watching my videos, they will go and change it. They will say, this is a weak hadith. We refuse this hadith. It can't be true. So what if it's a... Uh, so what? No, it's not a true. Brother.
Somebody saying it is a humanity that Muhammad don't went to waste water. Oh, okay, guys, Muhammad he don't want to waste water, so he use a sewage water. Why you don't do that yourself? I want you to make a video, and why you Muslim you don't follow him then? Don't use a clean water for shower. Use the sewage water. I mean, look at the stupid answer that the prophet, he is not, he's trying not to waste water. So you try not to waste water, but then you, you make yourself sick and you, you bring disease to the community and people die because this will bring sickness. Here we go. Trump is sending me an airplane to take me to heaven to see the boobs. You know, I told him there's an heaven of Allah, there's boobs. Can we go and see them? Trump, he said, sure. You know, poop come first. And as long as you are talking about, can you make Quran like this? Look, I will make Quran like this, brother. But I don't know, you will not accept it. No plane is there upon the blind, nor any plane or lane upon the lane, nor any plane upon the sickness, nor yourself if you eat in your houses. Like, what the heck is this? How many years took Allah to think about this that we can take we can eat in our houses? How many years took Allah to think that a blind man it's okay for him to eat in his house? I mean this is deep. This is so deep. Allah sitting in his office, he thinking, what I will tell them today? I will advise them something very okay. If you are ill, you can eat in your home. If you are blind, you can eat in your home. If your leg is hurting, you can eat in your home. And in the top of that, any one of you can eat at home. I and mean, what the point of this? So people for the last million of years, if, there, if, 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 if a human being was exist, whatever years is exist, 5,000, 6,000, 10,000, who care? He was eating where? In the restaurant? In the time of Muhammad, there was restaurant where people eat. They used to go to Starbucks. I mean, what this advice is, or the houses of your father. Are you serious? You are telling me there's no blame if I eat in the house of my father. Thank you. I, I, I was waiting for this. Or the house of your mothers. Amazing. Nobody can make wrong like this. Or the houses of your brothers. Wow. Astonishing. Or the houses of your sister, unbelievable. This is so deep. This is so crazy, brother. This is so, this is wisdom. Or the houses of your father, brother. Look, man, this is endless. Or the houses of your father, sister. Oh, boy. Or the houses of your mother, brother. Oh, man. Or the houses of your mother, sister. Oh, baby. Or that wherefore you heal the key. Oh, boy. I will never give the key for real estate agent. And if you have a key of a house, you can eat from there. What does that mean? What if somebody found the keys? I mean, look at the wisdom, man. You give a real estate to sell your house. He come to the house, he eat your food because Quran says that. Or from the house of your friend. <laughs> I mean, who can make Quran like this? Nobody. We have to be honest here. And brother, don't call, don't make the calling of Muhammad the same as you call each other. Why is that? Muhammad is God. Don't make calling of the messenger among you as if you are calling one another. Muhammad is fabricating this verse, obviously. He want to elevate himself. You see, Jesus, the Lord of the Christians, the God of the Christian, he washed their feet. He did what? He washed their feet. He did not ask them to speak to him differently. Isn't it obvious that Muhammad here is fabricating? Oh, hold on. I just remember a verse. Forget about this. 
there's there's something more uh, more powerful brother way more powerful brother the verse of stoning and the breastfeeding for adult 10 times revealed can you make a verse because this one is lost the goat ate it you said nobody can make her own like this i agree i mean who is the stupid he will say to his followers let your wife give her boobs to a stranger and i want you to show me this verse i want to see it you said the quran is preserved where we can find the breastfeeding for adult 10 times actually i was going to convert to Islam because of this verse i tried to open a business in las vegas it's a breastfeeding drive through which fit perfectly with corona situation you know so like you drive it through like mcdonald you know and we, we will have a let me explain to you my plan maybe some investor that will support me in this plan if you are an investor please please contact me immediately i have a fantastic plan for you so we make an, a drive through okay uh, this is the drive through drive through here uh, this is the road okay uh, this is the road and here in the side of the road there is a tree I like trees to be there oh, so, sorry I, if you are an investor and you are interested we have to make it some trees there okay this is the tree and then the car come here this is the car Uh, this car doesn't look good because it's, it's it's made in Arabia. Sorry. And then we have here a window, and there is boobs. Big boobs. We will not hire any women. We shouldn't have big boobs. Requirement, please. We have to be like strictly uh, 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 following the rules, so we can have a, always a good reputation for as a business. And then people. They go drive the car, brother, and, they, and we, we take a credit card, by the way. We take the visas of the Jews and MasterCard of the Jews. No problem. When it comes to money, we Muslims, we are very conservative. We don't deal with the Jews. We, 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 but all of them, they have visa and they have MasterCard. And all of them, they invest their money in the West. In the Jewish banks. And we drive it through, brother, and we suckle the nipples of the women. And this is support. And we have to do it 10 times. You know, we will we will make a package. We will make a package. It says ten time. Oh, I'm typing in Arabic. Hold on. A Muslim will say, "Christian prince speaking dirty." He said to a Muslim woman, "Suckle me." I was reading your prophet hadith, you idiot. And he was saying to me, nobody can make Quran like this. And after all this hilarious story, we find that the goat ate it. The goat ate it. So why you are lying saying to the Muslims that the Quran is preserved? Here we go, read. Aisha said, you will say, Aisha is lying, brother. Aisha is lying. She's a liar. I challenge you say that. The verses of stoning and breastfeeding for adult 10 times was revealed. And then the paper was under my pillow. And when the messenger Allah died, we were preoccupied with this death and the time sheep came and ate it Meh. in fact this sheep is already wanted there is a billion muslim written looking for it if you have any information please about this goat don't forget to call our phone number to the the head of the police in saudi arabia we will pay you a big reward and actually we publish already a picture of this goat so in case you you know like you see uh, any details or anything you know uh, this, the, the, first of all the goat is white and usually she like to sit on chairs and she like to smell flowers 
is sometime uh, uh, she uh, put uh, a leg in the top of the other leg. Actually, most of the time. So if you see this goat, which ate the book, obviously she was sent by the Jews to eat the book of Allah. Please call us immediately. And you are saying to us the Quran is preserved. Aisha, she said, that the chapter of Al Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al Baqarah. That means there's hundreds of verses are missing from one chapter alone. Which is very sad because I'm going to laugh at what? The more verses we have, the more we laugh. So when this potato he speak about uh, making Quran and challenge and he will debate me, you are a coward. You can call me right now and we will do it in Arabic. You claim you speak Arabic, everybody will laugh. We will die laughing at your Arabic. And the funny, they say Christian prince do not know how to read the Quran. Your prophet do not know how to read the Quran. Let us make fun of him too. And let us see who read the Quran, who do not know how to read the Quran. How many of you are going to download this video and translate to Indonesian? How many? Because obviously, uh, this coward will not post my video there. He's making excuse that Christian, they will flag his video for copyright. You are a liar. I am the one who is asking you to take my video and post it there. But you are a coward. You will not do it. He cannot speak English, let alone Arabic. Well, no problem, we will do it in Arabic. He claimed that he speaks Arabic. We will get somebody to translate whatever he say. Uh, actually, I will translate what he say. Or he can get his translator with him, so people who speak English can understand. He can have somebody next to him, so, no, so he will not say, I'm making a false translation for what he said. He can get somebody next to him. We speak in Arabic, me and him, and we translate to English. I translate my statement. I speak in, I will speak in two languages, English and Arabic. And in his side, he can speak in Arabic if he claims to speak Arabic, which I adopt very much. And uh, uh, he can get somebody from his side to translate what he say to Indonesian. I let everybody laugh. All of them, by the way, they are willing to debate me face to face. I mean, do you notice this? It is the excuse of running away from Christian Prince. Debate you faith to faith. Thakir Naik, actually, he wanted to debate him faith to faith. Yeah, Zakir Naik, he, he said, if you bring 2,000 people with you to Bangladesh, we can debate there. I will bring 2,000 people with me. And why I want to go to Bangladesh? And you know, imagine Christian Prince going to a country and Christian Prince, he say that Muhammad is a fraud. Muhammad is a, is a, a sex maniac. Muhammad, and then the Muslims, they will let you go. They will not kill you, brother. I mean, they are very peaceful, brother. We can do it live on air. This is how I do what I do. And you know it. And you are a coward. And you know that I don't go debating people in the places for my security, number one, and for my comfort. Sitting here in my short, in front of my window, I have a monkey. And I am enjoying the view. And still, nobody can debate me. So all those excuses are stupid excuses. And we laugh at this Quran and at this prophet. Who take a shower with dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage. Yet he claimed that he is a clean. A prophet who ordered his followers, which is very good hygiene, to fight Corona. If you eat a brother, you need to lick your fingers or let somebody else uh, lick your fingers for you. So when you make a video to refute me, you coward. Refute me, you coward. Don't jump over what I said. 
explain to them why Umar making Quran and you Muslims and Allah and Muhammad taken from Umar. Explain to them how Muhammad he take the Quran of Abdullah ibn Sarah and this is written in your books. Explain to them how cities stupid the Quran you can eat in your houses. Explain to them that Allah he promised us women who have big boobs. Oh, I forgot. Allah even described what is inside the women vagina in heaven. Oh, just wait. We have another verse before we go to the vagina stuff. Look at this verse. Me. Muhammad, he have two wives and they are causing him a trouble. So what Muhammad do? Muhammad is a very strong person, very strong character. He cannot deal with them. And this is the verse which Omar he made. Or one of them maybe. If it is from Allah, it is more horrible. If it's from Omar, it's more horrible. If it's from Muhammad, it's more horrible. Which one you choose? Choose one. If you twin, turn into Allah. Hold on, hold on. This translation is very uh, weird. Let us go to uh, an easier translation. Another idiot, Yusuf Ali. If you two turn in repentance to who? Two of the wives of Muhammad, Aisha and Hafsa. To him, your heart indeed is so inclined, which means they became kuffar. But if you back each other against him, him who? Muhammad. Truly Allah is his protector. <laughs> uh, is Allah is enough? No. I mean, this is a big war, brother. Muhammad fighting with two women. They are five foot tall. Muhammad need more protection. Allah is not enough. Truly Allah is his protector. Uh, yeah. Okay. So how many protector Allah he need against Aisha and Hafsa? Truly Allah is protector. Okay, this is number one protector. But Allah alone is not enough. We need more security. And Jibreel. Jibreel have 600 wings. And when he come, he black, he black out the horizon. This is how big he is. He's so big, man. So big. He's even bigger than Christian Prince. You believe it? And is Jibreel enough security? No, brother. 600 wings, brother. He's not enough, brother. F-16, brother. is not enough, brother. And every righteous believer among the believer will back him up. Is that enough, brother? 1.5 billion? No, brother. It's not enough. The Mujahideen, Al-Qaeda, ISIS. No, it's not enough. We need more. And furthermore, the angels. I mean, who's left? Who is left to join the silly fight between a guy and his two wives? Allah and Jibreel and every believer and Furthermore, all the angels, we, 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 brother, what is this? In the front of the house of the uh, prophet, what happened? Why? What do you see? I see Allah there, okay? Allah himself? Yes, brother. And who else? And Jibreel? Jibreel too? Yes, brother. It must be very big. Yes, brother. And there's 1.5 billion in the front of his house too. Are you serious? Yes. And not only that, brother, all the angels, all the angels there to back him up. And you are saying to me, can you make Quran like this? All of this to shut up two women. Obviously, he is unable to shut them up. So he fabricate Quran saying, Allah saying this to you. It threatening them that he, Allah, will exchange them. Look, look, he could not control them. He is a threatening them that Allah told me I will exchange you. Exchange, how you exchange? Concert. Concert, not even wife. You see, exchange mean you take my wife, I take yours. If you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will see I explain that how the Arab used to practice that. Exchange of women. Muhammad is a threat in his wives. Allah will exchange you with better consort, girlfriend for sex. Better than you. Threatening them that they will go to hell. This is a solution. Yes, this is a solution. Anything Muhammad he cannot solve, he make a verse on the Quran so he can enforce those people to obey him. Brother. Can Allah, brother, make nice song, brother? 
I challenge you to make a song like this. Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you hate me? Do you? Do you? Do you love me? Do you hate me? Now, can Allah make that? No, nobody can make this, brother. This is Quran. I mean, they have the most silly, stupid challenge. Can you find somebody make a book? It says that the sperm coming from the ribs of the women. Nobody can do that, brother. You cannot do that. Only Allah can do that. This is justice. What happened to Christians if they disrespect Jesus? Okay, Asad, Asad is saying a question. Hold on. Who is a Muslim want to call me? Let us see if, I'm, if any Muslim trying to call. Uh, Asad, Asad, as long as you are Asad, why you don't call, my friend? Your name is Lion. So you are Lion and real or a fake one? Are you a real lion or a fake lion? <clears throat> if there is any Muslim have the courage and the knowledge to call, please feel free. I will give it only five minutes to receive calls. After that, after that we will log off of Skype if nobody calls. All right, you see now we say, call me, and then they will not call. <clears throat> My Skype is open, and you must want to call. And what happened if somebody disrespect Jesus? You must and disrespect Jesus. People will be punished in judgment day. What do you Muslims do if Muhammad disrespected? You kill him right away. And by the way, just to show you that Muslims are pagan, if you insult Allah, you might be forgiven, you will live. But if you insult Muhammad, you shall be killed, even if you are repenting. So who is God in Islam? Obviously Muhammad. So Asad, are you there? My Skype is open for you, my friend. I want to hear how smart you are. Anyone? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what we do here. And we have always open challenge and you will notice that the muslims always make an excuse that they want to debate me face to face as if we are debating right now as to us excuse my language this is how silly they are all of them they are in youtube and suddenly only with me they want to debate face to face because they knew that i do might what i do in youtube it's just an excuse to hide and you know and run away An answer can be given anywhere. Who cares about you? Actually, here we have 1,000 people watching. What do you want more? To prepare for this debate, 1,000 people there, we need long time, a lot of money. Here we go, we are here. You can drink your tea and bring victory to Allah. Do jihad, brother. Don't you want to get extra versions? If you call me right now and you defeat me, you will get the extra versions. Immediately delivery. No, well, we will debate you face to face. Well, can we do it shoulder to shoulder? No, no, face to face, brother. You never saw Muhammad, so you will not listen to Muhammad unless he is face to face. You never saw Allah. So you will not accept Allah unless you see him face to face? Even Allah in the Quran, he said, he never spoke to anyone except he speak from behind the veil. 
why Allah is speaking from behind the veil reminder you cannot make a Quran like this hmm. like what like this a God who is telling us what is inside the women a private part I mean nobody can do this nobody this God not only describing for us heaven he described what is between the legs of the women in heaven and how big their boobs do you see it a brother those women in heaven brother how we can be sure that they are not being boom boom you see in Arabic it says Muslim translation most of it says no man touch them and no genie genie and what do you mean touch them it doesn't say touch them it says nobody penetrated in their vagina and made them bleed this is what it says and this is your Muslim translation Brother, Allah heaven, Allah he promised us that we are going to have women who nobody penetrated their vagina and they did not bleed yet, brother. How, but how we can be sure that they are not uh, being doing that before, like maybe using some vegetables or something, brother? Brother, sister, our brother, they have a question. I actually agree with him. How we can be sure? It's very easy. When you go to the heaven, brother, you take with you in the shower some shampoo, some what? Shampoo, uh, you mean shampoo. Exactly. And then you make a lot of shampoo of the water. And then you force the virgin to jump in the water. If the bubbles, if there is bubbles coming out, it means she is leaking and she is the virgin. She, she is what? It means she is leaking. She is leaking. Uh, you mean from there? Exactly. Uh, as Allah, he told us. Exactly. I mean, this is God. And not only that, each time you sleep with them, Allah, he will make them versions. I mean, even this one is a cheating. She is not a virgin no more. What virginity is? Is it the putting that skin back or it is the women she never had sex before? Even your virginity is fake. And then they say to you, can you make Quran like this? No, we can't. Can you? And about genie having sex with Muslim women, Muslim they believe that their women they are having sexual intercourse with genie. There's a guy, he called the TV. He said I opened the bedroom, my bedroom door, and I found my women doing things. You know, the sheikh, smart sheikh, said brother, obviously your say your 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 wife she is having sexual intercourse with the genie. If you go right now and search in Google about having sex with the genie, you will see that every single Muslim believe in this garbage. And you are saying to me, you can make a Quran like this. Nobody can make Quran like this. So what this verse is saying that Allah, he have for us a brand new women. Zero mileage. Their vagina have walks on it. Amazing, brother. It's come with the paper, brother. This is God. I'm not going to keep this video for long, and you know why. But I want every single one of you to download it. If you speak different language, please. It's going to take some time for you to add subtitle, but there is an option in YouTube where you can activate automatic subtitle. I don't know, I tried on my channel here, it's not working for some reason, but maybe it's going to work with you. So uh, download the video, share it with your friends, and tell those cowards who claim that they can debate me, no, you cannot. Your God cannot debate me. My Skype is open, where are they? Where are the Muslims? Where are they?
Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget this video will disappear in less than an hour from now. So download it. It's going to be ready maybe in 20 minutes from now. So you have 40 minutes and then I will post an updated video in my channel in Patreon so you can get the link for the updated link for the video. The first one who posts the video is going to be the first one I post his video in my channel and he will get more subscriptions to his channel. I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Uh, I wish Christian Prince he could speak Urdu. I speak Urdu. I let, okay, let me speak Urdu for you. Uh, uh, okay, I, I hope you understand what I said. You know, I speak all languages, brother. I'm like Allah, except the one you know. I mean, we have a God. He speaks only Arabic, but he speaks all languages. But only he I speak, he know Arabic. He wants you to pray to him in Arabic, even if you are an Urdu person amazing uh, anyway so i want to say thank you all of you please download the video as we said we will not keep it here for long especially if you are indonesian and if you can uh, uh, get the indonesian to watch my original video which the coward he refused to play and we we show it in the beginning of the of the broadcast he said his excuse is that uh, uh, christians they flag videos for copyright that's a lie and actually, I said it clearly, I give him specifically permission. Actually, I give every Muslim permission to post this video in his channel. The video I just made and this video and any video you like, actually. This is the video we made for him and the coward is afraid to post it for you, Indonesian Muslims. Ask yourself why he is doing that. Because it is hilarious. And because he's a coward. And because he's ashamed and now i'm giving him a special license to post the video as it is in his channel do we have an excuse youtube cannot accept any flag because i am giving him a license to use it i'm giving every muslim a license to post it the one i just made and the one in the screen and not only that any of my videos all of them free for you muslims post them in your channel even you can adver add advertising on them and make money from it. Good for you. Do you see how sure we are? And this guy is a fraud lying to you saying, oh, Christians will flag my video for copyright. No, Christian Prince, don't do that. It's you who do that. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. If I can, later at night, I will be maybe here again. Uh, subscribe. Tell your friends. And this is where always you can find me in Patreon. And we have another channel. It's called The Quality of Life. If you'd like to join us there, where we speak about different topics, have nothing to do with Muhammad and his garbage. So if you like to have some quality time, where there's no garbage and nothing stink, this is where you can join us. We go there every Friday, Sunday, uh, Saturday, and you know sometime even during the week. All right? So may the Lord bless you all. And I pray that all of you will stay safe from this evil coronavirus, which the Muslim in the beginning claimed that this is the army of Allah. And now coronavirus, and, and then they changed. It was the army of Allah virus, punishing China. And then because Islamic countries are infected heavily, suddenly they are saying it's made by the Jews. I mean, yesterday it was the army of Allah. Today it's the army of the Jews. Let us blame the Jews. Let us blame the Jews. Let us blame the Jews for everything. Uh, husband, you did not have boom boom with me for the last two years. Is, are you okay? How you can make me have sex with you? Don't you see the news in the TV? Don't you see what the Jews are doing in, in, in Palestine? Okay, my husband, what does this have to do with us? I cannot do it. The Jews. But, but, but I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm your wife. Don't you want to have babies? I don't care. But pray to Allah to send you babies. But how we can have babies if we don't do boom boom? How I can do boom boom and the Jews doing this? And by the way, when Muhammad, his penis is not working, if you remember the hadith, he blamed the Jews too. Do you remember? So I'm not joking, you know. When Muhammad himself, his penis stopped working, he blamed the Jews. He blamed a guy. Uh, he supposedly is a Jew 
and he said he is the one who did the black magic for him here we go this is the hadith so you know, don't laugh this is this is serious this is what they this is what they do the prophet continues such a such period he imagined he have sex with his wife but in fact he did not so the wives were waiting for him he's not he's not he's not doing it so but what happened why a guy his name is Lubaydul ibn al-Asam from the Jews he is the one who made the black magic for the prophet controlling his penis Lubayd ibn al-Asam was a man from Bani Zuraiq, the friends of the Jews. Let us blame the Jews. Let us blame the Jews. If your wife she cheat on you, who you blame? If your food damaged, who you blame? Muhammad have an answer. This will be the last hadith we show you and before we go. I mean, this is an endless topic, man. The Prophet said, but for Israel, meat would not decay. I mean, why the food is damaged? Because we have Jews. If we have no Jews in this earth, you can put the food outside for 10 centuries. They will never damage. The Jews. If no Eve, no woman betray her husband, and the funny Muslim, they say, we don't believe in original sin. And they say and they lie. That, uh, uh, Ahmad did that. He said that question. Christian, in your Bible, you blame Eve for the sin of Adam. It's you who blame it. You're a liar. This is your prophet. But those people were debating people who they are not educated with Islam. This is why it's one side debate. But they will never get it close to me. It's your prophet who blame Eve and only Eve. And the funny Muhammad here, he says that Eve, she betray her husband. But didn't we just showed you Muhammad saying that Adam, he said that this is written in his faith 40 years before he's created. So how we can blame Eve for this stupid? That was called a stupidity of man. His name is Muhammad. With this, I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And if you like to know more, to learn more, feel free to read my books and we have it in many language with you was a christian prince and if you are a man debate me face to face christian prince if you have internet debate me in youtube abdul oh i don't have youtube uh, so what aren't you posting in youtube against me ah uh, this is uh, i use the internet of the neighbors it's halal. Fake answers, fake excuse, fake prophet, fake God, da'if religion. Thank you. And may the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove that every time we go live on air. Thank you. Don't forget to download the video. You have only one hour before we take it down.